There we go. Dog ball enrichment. Oh my god, it's it's a it's a ball. Maybe you can put some food in there or something like that. Oh, it's another spring. And they will bash at it. Okay. Now the corpse has been has been picked up. There we go. Enrichment, 100%. Yep. Yeah, dog ball feeders. So you put food in there and they probably whack it and food comes out. I don't know if someone's filled it or not. Oh, hold on. Are you looking at it? Nope, not yet. This is Gowon. Not to be confused with the Chancellor of the Klingon Empire. Oh, picking up some poops. The poop vacuum. Go on, then. <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up. Come on, someone come and play with the ball. God, it's like trying to get Bella to play with something. Ball could have given that poor wolf the will to live a little longer. Damn you, platinum pineapple! Uh, pass on the stranger quill. I've been posted twice now. It seems gone overlooked. I mean, it's hard because things move by all the time. Buildings have feelings too. Wacky city builder to look at. Well, you remember, Twitch chat's not always, is usually not a good place for suggestions. Mostly because lots of people have lots of suggestions and I can't respond to them all. But also because it's easy to miss. You should email me or tweet me. That's the best way to, to hit me with a suggestion. Is no one actually going to play with the ball? Also, maybe I, what I should do, actually, is move this over here. So if they do play with the ball, our people will have an easier time finding it. Snail mail? Well, actually, if you scroll down on this page, you can find my post office box. So you can indeed send me some snail mail. People sending money to the donation box. Oops. Oh, more research. Hang on. Slow down. Uh, more educational stuff and maybe more toy as well. Okay, well, they're not playing with this one, so what else do we get? Uh, a chew toy! Alright, let's drop a chew toy down here as well. Alright, someone, come play with one of the toys. Ooh, it's raining. Oh, they're running to the shelter! Oh, look at that! Oh! Oh, I hadn't seen it rain before! Oh, that's cool! Oh, brawlies! Now, I'm trying to remember, if this were like the old, um, like, theme park or whatever, you'd set up like a little brawly stand and you'd make tons of money selling brawlies. Urge to buy a rising. Although, you know, we do not pre-order. Pre-ordering is never a good idea. Make sure that things are okay. Who knows, like, you know, this is a beta, but there's definitely some issues with it. Um, you know, are the issues going to be fixed on release day or not? Make sure. I have, I have great faith in this company, Frontier. They've done wonderful things with, um, um, with Planet Coaster. Like, you know, I'm, I don't think that this is going to be a disappointment overall. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This could be, like, the company that's only made perfect solid gold releases every single time. Proting's always, you know... Never going to be a recommendation. Oh, they're going to try to watch over here. Oh, because they can't see the wolves over here anymore. They're going to peek. They can't really see. But from here, they can sort of look into the shelter. Oh, more donations coming. Education upgrades your info boards. Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah. So our content is more educational and better suited to it. Um, I think there's a place to track, like, how well you've educated people. Staff happiness, happiness. Animals, conservation, education. So we're half a star for education. It's not ideal necessarily, but we don't have an inspector yet. He's due any time now, though. Yeah, education's really low. Should have brought an umbrella. Tickets are fair. Zoo's pretty small, yeah. Wish Zoo had a food shop. Yeah, I wish that had a food shop, too. And an umbrella shop. Do you advise going for Planet Coaster first for those that haven't? Um, I don't have a... I think I may have a video for Planet Coaster. Um, Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo are not going to scratch the same itch. Planet Coaster is a really, really wonderful um, game if you like being creative and designing things. Um, the, the I feel like the sim side of things in terms of, 
you know, management and, and the, the sort of tycoon management sort of sim aspects in sim uh, Planet Coaster is a little bit limited. Like, you know, there, there's not much to manage that way. But, oh my god, can you ever make a gorgeous park. A gorgeous roller coasters and decorate like crazy. I mean, you can see how much you can decorate in this one. I mean, you can't really see it because I'm, I'm crappy at it. But you can see that there's a lot of options. That, with, that's without us unlocking things. There's, like, tons more research, right? Over here in Mechanics, which stopped again. Uh, Lydia, um... You get different themes, transport rides, power, souvenir shops, shelters, and climbing, drinks shop. Here, Lydia, go and... Oh, you're going to do that thing where it's not researching correctly. Beta. Again, do, do always be careful about those day one purchases as well. Um, you know, there's tons of stuff. So Planet Coaster has that. Like, you can make a, a theme park of your dream. But to me, the the like mechanical sim tycoon side, that's why I like those games, since I'm clearly not that creative or artistic, um, that side was a little weaker. So it really depends on what you want to do. Do you want animals? Then obviously you have to do the zoo one. Do you want the roller coasters? You got that. Now, if you want a, a crunchier sort of um, theme park, amusement park kind of game, I would probably recommend checking out, well, either, you know, one of the old uh, roller coaster tycoon games, or Parkitect, which I, I bought, like, back in 2016. I had a key for it. I don't know if I bought it or if it was gifted, like, or, you know, I got a free key, but I'd never played it. God damn. It's so vicious. Okay, let's have a less vicious um, other place here. Um, but anyway, I've started playing with it. I'm like, dude, it's good. Let's, um, let's build something with hedges. We'll probably lower this as well. We'll put some little like pea fowls or turtles. Turtles? I like turtles in here. Um, I don't know if there's a way to like universally set things. We'll just select everything and then lower the height to like a meter. So we only have the one kind of gate right now. It looks a little funny. Oh. Power source failing. Mechanic on route. Okay. Wolves are nice. <laughs> are too nice. We need more raptors. Jurassic World was, like, so gorgeous, but so limited. Like, this, to me, is, like, a hundred times better. Uh, in terms of, like, options that you can do in the game uh, to Jurassic World. But it would be cool if there was this, you know, Planet Zoo, colon, dinosaurs. All right, let's get some animals in here. I want turtles. Here. Aldabra giant tortoise. So not a turtle, but a tortoise. Uh, Jendai. Okay. Uh, can I purchase you? Nope. 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 May have been purchased already. Internet mode. Uh, what were the other tortoises? Galapagos giant tortoise. Oops. Um, show me just cash listings first. So there's only a single available for cash. Oh, it reset it. That's annoying. Uh, Galapagos. Let's go for the one with the higher fertility gene. Although I don't know if the genders are what we're looking for anyway. Alright, drop you in there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of room for these tortoises to roam. We might be able to combine them. Depending on the uh, habitat compatibility, we might be able to throw in, you know, peafowls or something. I don't know. All right, Abril. Well, you're actually not too miserable about your habitat to start off with. So you, you don't like long grass. It slows you down, man. You do like sand. Okay. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. 
Um, let's shrink this. Oh, that's intensity. Let's shrink this down. We should, um, oh, we should build water features for the tortoises, right? I mean, they're tortoises, not turtles, but still. Water's nice. Okay, yeah, so before I do too much of this, let's go, sorry, back to terrain mode. Sculpt. And drop some water. So you can, depending on how you sculpt it, yeah, so you can, different height levels. We'll put it there, so they'll have a little bit of water in here. Because it's pretty. Um, you want a little bit more short grass. Maybe a little left long grass. There we go. Everything's good. Area's good. They need 230 square meters. You've got 500. Although it may not have included the second one yet. You would like a shelter. Maybe we'll make a little lean-to this time. Kind of kind of look. Now, one of the things I don't know... Um, is... Can people see into this? It's only a meter tall. To me, people should be able to look over this hedge. I mean, maybe not little kids. I don't know. I mean, you can't make a windowed mode here. Why do they need a shelter? Aren't they their own shelter? I mean, I, I see what you're saying. Tortoises come with a shelter. All right, er everyone's doing it. Okay. Um, let's get some rocks. Now we're in. Now when I hit this, it does two. So I don't know what exactly caused it to go from the just place mode to this. May have to do with how I initially start placing things. There you go. Um, so now I can. Yeah, I don't know, man. If I do this. Nope. The inputs are inconsistent. All right. So, oh, look how slow they move. Hungry, thirsty. Oh yeah, hold on. Uh, you do not. It may not have updated for the hard shelter yet. We'll see. But you definitely do need some some goodies here. So let me change the filter. Reset filter. Species. Galapagos giant tortoise. Oh, some of these you can use. You can use the dog. You like the dog ball enrichment. Interesting. Let's get you a water bowl. And a food trough over here. Oh, I think they're watching. Yeah, 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 good. Here, you can have a sprinkler. Maybe that'll help keep you a little cooler. And maybe a dog ball? Okay. Apparently does not satisfy your shelter requirements. I'm very saddened by this. I really want to see the tor tortoises play with the ball. Population's good. Social's good. So you're happy about everything. Okay, not nutrition. Last meal quality. Um... Yeah, that hasn't been filled in yet. Call a keeper. Seen bigger and better zoos. Shut up. My zoo's awesome. Uh, can you make path bridges over habitats when people look from above? That is a great question and not one I know the answer to. Can I just start a path, like, somewhere else, or does it have to be connected? Okay. Okay, for most modes, holding shift and moving the mouse goes up and down. Oh, hold on. 
Okay. Cancel you. I don't know why I decided to hit control, but if you hit control, I guess it lets you start unconnected. And then I can shift up. Oh, it won't let me go over. Or will it? Oh, maybe that rock's in the way. Okay, no, it's trying to snap to things. Hold on. Let's turn off snap along barriers. There's tunneling as well. So, how do I make it go down now? Click and drag. Oh, thank you. So if you click and hold and then drag, you can get that. It feels like... All right, I can't edit a path. Um, but if I trim this back and then change the width, it feels like we can make something that looks like a viewing platform. Oh, people are coming up here! Now this should count as hard shelter. You're covered by a path. It does! It does count as shelter for them. So these rocks did nothing, probably because the shape wasn't enough to like walk them through. But this totally works. Oh, the people decided walking up all these stairs is, is boring and crappy and not worth it. Oh my god, I should really have made more of my paths wider, I think. This place is crowded. Some recycling bins down. Presumably they won't throw as much garbage around for our, our janitors to have to deal with. Security cameras. Educational speaker up here. About the tortoise. Oh, that's just the placeholder. Um, because then you put the the board on. Hold on. Clear you out. Use this version here. There you go. Jichelon Nigra. See, we're only a little over a month away, and the, like shops don't work and things. It's weird to me. This may have been a fairly early build. Oh, why are you? Oh, you probably got boxed up because the pylons or something got in the way. There we go. Get you back in there. <gasps> Tortoise is playing with the football. You're right. Look at this smile! Oh boy! This is fun! Ah, hi. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at it go! Wolves haven't even played with it. Well, at least not last time I checked. Oh, no, they must have. It's not there anymore. The chew toy's been moved around a little bit too. There's the ball. Quill turtle voice is my <laughs> new favorite thing. Oh, oh boy. Mercedes. Uh, no. Uh, that's like, I wanted a fast name. 
Oh, no filter keys. How many times? How many times do you have to dis the, uh, disable like filter keys? No, they are off. Oh, allow shortcut key. There you go. Turn that shit off. Asterisk. Asterisk and Obelix. Sonic. And Mercedes is not bad for this, actually. Just here. And then this turtle over here can be um, Volvo Lambo. Then we can have, if we get another one, it can be Ferrari. We can just like have have a, a car theme thing. Now I did read on the Reddit. Be careful when you make your tortoise spots. Look at them splashing in the water over here. When you make your uh, tortoise habitats, don't make them too big because they're so small in the way that like time is accelerated in the game. In the time it takes them from walk walk from one side to the other, they could starve to death. Ah. So you can make his way over to the other side here. Fi figure out he's hungry, turn around, try to eat food, and then starve before he makes it to the food thing. Here, maybe what we'll do is we'll put another feeding trough over here. And another water bowl. Although, I think they can drink from the pools of water over here. I think if we've got this, I don't think we need the water bowls. I'm not sure. But look at, like, the texture in these guys, man. Like, the shells and everything, it's actually really nice. They're clearly, they must be using um, physical-based shaders. Because it's really convincing. I mean, it helps that it's not a fuzzy creature, right? That makes a big difference. But even, like, the fuzzy ones aren't bad. Talk about things that need a freaking pop-up! Oh my god, we've got a million of them! How did the game not... How is there not an announcement for A, when an animal gets pregnant, and B, when it gives birth? Oh man, we need, um... I think we need more keepers. Here, two more keepers. Oh, is the, uh... Is it possible that the work zones are messing things up? Okay, someone's coming there. Uh, I might want to duplicate the feeding options here. There we go. Someone's coming. Who's them apply a lot. Work zones don't work. Get rid of them. Well, I mean, this might be working. I don't know. The only work zone we have is for the researchers. Did you just manually feed that guy? I think you did. Hey, this is working. Yeah, and, and some people said some of the birth rates might be a little aggressive. You can now sell your puppies. That's true. Or release them to the wild. I mean, maybe you don't release the puppies to the wild. Um, send animal to storage in trade center. Fox animal, Zoopedia. I like the little howls. Oh, we got we got to find a good screenshot. Here we are. Look how fuzzy. I need a way to get rid of the UI. That doesn't do it. There's got to be a way to get rid of the UI. Look, one's mounted on the other. G? Oh shit, thank you! Zookeeper looks pretty dumb. Uh, probably a key to move the camera downwards, too. Other than just zooming? I don't know. Look at the glow. That's some great shader effects right there. Sort of subsurface glow, almost. Playing with the sprinklers over here. I don't have a moose. In fact, I don't think that a moose isn't an available creature. At least not in the current build. Uh, how come I can't an activate the animal market? Is it still broken? Yeah. 
Key for controls, right, yes. I remembered seeing something like that. Because I remember looking through the settings, going to controls, I remember seeing T for something. 